Hello everyone, I'm Charlotte and welcome back to Vegan Explores. In this video, I'm going to be sharing everything I ate as a vegan in New Zealand's largest city of Auckland. Kicking off our time here in Auckland, we have come to Remedy Coffee. It's a little cafe right in the CBD and it is really funky here. Loads of like artwork, we've got some coffees. Chloe has found a vegan chicken nugget baguette, so we had to have it, I ordered a bagel. But this is a nice spot, it's pretty funky. Yeah, nice view of the main road here. We can see a lot of hustle and bustle outside, but it is the weekend and it was very difficult to find somewhere that we wanted to go that was open because we're in the CBD. A lot of places are just open Monday to Friday. We're staying near the wharf and that seems like a business area. So a lot of cafes are closed, but we found this place and we seem pretty happy with it. How is your um, nugget for gear? It's yummy, it's got pesto on it as well. I got pesto. Nice little spot, have we found it? We just stumbled upon it and I would recommend. Really funky in there, like really quirky, there's little ornaments and they've got like some cool music, like rock, metal, some cool stuff. People in there are nice. And that avocado smash was really good. That was like homemade avo smash. Lemon in there, salt, really yummy. And the prices were real good too, like, $16, $17, so pretty fair for New Zealand. We're gonna go check out a food truck we've just spotted, which is 100% plant-based called Pulse Up. We are feeling peckish, so we'll think we're gonna eat before we go to the Sky Tower. Corey has to get a side of chicken tots and potato tots and little chicken nuggets, but I think I'm gonna go for the roti with avocado, aioli, and a hash brown inside. And I think Corey is gonna go for the fried chicken burger. Can you get one of the chicken burgers, please? The happy hash roti and the uh, nuggets and tots. Thank you. Oh my gosh. That roti looks really good. Here is my roti. It's got the hashi browns, avocado, aioli, lettuce and tomatoes in there. Corey has gone for a fried chicken burger. And these are just some naughty potato tots with some chicken nuggets. Second amount of nuggets we've had today. Corey's dad. No, really good nuggets. How do I eat this? No idea. Why have we not thought of that before? Yeah, it's great. All of this cost $42, just over 20 pounds, whatever that is in US dollars. So, I mean, not too bad. Cheaper than eating out in a restaurant, probably. It's gonna collapse, but it's good. I have never had roti like this before. That was really good. I've never had a roti like that. Always had roti just to dip in curries or dals. So actually, we had our dessert roti in oh, the yeah. Thai place. So we're having all these types of different types of rotis lately, but that was, yeah, that was really yummy. A little bit naughty maybe, but it's pretty good. Prices aren't too bad. And it was nice to have those options uh, in a food truck, 100% plant-based food truck. So hopefully that stays around for a while. We have come out for dinner now in Auckland City and pretty much in the center of the city is a place called Sunflower Thai and it's a completely plant-based Thai poison place and they have lots of different meat substitutes so I think they do like vegan pork, Thai, chicken. Um, we are absolutely starving so we're going to go through this menu and try and decide what to eat with our bellies grumbling but this place seems super popular. It looks really good all the pictures I've seen online and people's dishes I spotted walking in and the menu looks fantastic too. Oh my days, I've just spotted the dessert little stand, Thai roti filled with banana and hazelnut chocolate. What is this? Must try. It's crispy vegan fried chicken to share. Roast sunflower vegan laksa. Oh, and a bao bun. Bang bang collie. We have got a little starter and we have gone for bang bang cauliflower. So some crispy cauliflower, sesame seeds on top and I'm guessing they're spicy. Are they spicy? A little bit. I think they're going to be spicy. With a bang bang. The bang. 
A bit of sweetness too. It's like some kind of syrup. Yeah. yeah. A bit of a hoisin sauce, I think. Yeah, like a hoisin sauce. This is the pad pack dish, so it's rice with some veggies in a sauce. I don't actually know what the sauce is. This was Corey's choice for the dish. I went for the yellow noodles with tofu chicken. I don't know what tofu chicken is. I don't know if it's just tofu. Let's taste what the tofu chicken is like. Mm. I'm not keen on that kind of tofu chicken. You know, it's like really chewy. We'll see. Might be the kind of tofu Corey likes. You know what I mean? Weird texture. A weird texture tofu. Probably just have tofu. Not too long to wait though. I think this came in about 10 minutes. It smells good, so let's get dug in. I didn't realise Corey actually asked if we could try some of the chicken. Let's see what we missed out on. Let's see, did we miss out on not getting this dish? Because this is what I thought Corey would order 100% and he didn't. It's <laughs> so hot. I think it's super hot. I think you'll like it. Better than the tofu chicken for sure. Much better. You look like you're making love to that roti. That is a really good roti. Well, it's not like, it's like a thin chocolate sauce, kind of like what you drizzle on top of like ice creams. And then some banana inside. This is much better. I think we chose the wrong dishes. Mm. <laughs> we should have just gone with the, the must try list. Well, we rescued it with that final order and glad Corey ordered dessert and asked to try some of that vegan little chicken, fried chicken, because that really is what made it. Um, if you do go there, definitely go for the fried chicken. Dishes we have, I think we just chose really badly, but the dishes we did have weren't great. We wouldn't go back for those at all. But I'm glad that we decided to try some of that fried chicken and that very yummy dessert. So we ended it on a high. Well, this place looks really nice. I've already seen some really exciting stuff on the drink special board, rose cacao. Corey has gone for a magic mushroom drink. It's got cacao and maca in there and a whole blend of mushies, but coconut sugar and we went for oat milk. We're gonna share this because sometimes I find drinks like this really filling, but I love them. And they've got a little chocolate shavings on top. This looks delicious. I've gone for a creamed corn toasty with a nice big salad and Chloe has gone for a mushroom. It looks like a cream cheese with mushrooms on top of a sourdough. It was supposed to be a different bread, but they sold out. So I've used, I think it's the same sourdough probably and a nice big salad, but it just looks super colorful, really inviting and I'm super excited to try it. Well, that was yummy. Very nice spot, would recommend coming here and checking it all out. They've got a lot of organic stuff, raw cakes and slices, loads of unusual lattes. I really enjoyed it. My toaster was nice, but I think it lacked a bit of filling. It could have had like extra filling in there, but it was tasty. Corey's mushrooms were good and they've actually got that brand, Little Bird is around New Zealand and apparently they've just gone to Melbourne in Australia too. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe for more vegan adventures.